can very fast finish your side. Okay, right? Ready? Two, four, six. One, two, three, start. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to present, and today I would like to introduce myself and my group member. My name is Olani Akima Duale, and with me. And my name is Garcilia Fabilina. My name is Leo Suchi. My name is Gabriel. Okay, my name is Chen Chu. My name is Ejana Mukba. My name is Zhuang Xiao. As a group leader, I will be taking the huge part in the presentation. So I'm here to talk about all stuff. And as you can see on the board, Company background. I'll be talking about the, the the company background. It's a multinational multinational consumer product company that manufactures and sells OTC over the counter drugs, ethnic pharmaceutical, and consumer products. The company of the company has three different structures. And as you can see, this is the organization structure. We have three different divisions in which each of these divisions can, each of these divisions has the ability and the freedom of choice. I mean, they can choose whichever product they want to impact on. After the organization structure is the overview of the Latin market because we are entering into the Latin American market. And as you can see, the Latin American market, the Latin America itself consists of 20 countries. And it has a population of about 582 million with 6.2 trillion US dollars GDP in all these 20 countries. Two years ago, according to the report given by the Economic Commission for Latin America and Caribbean, there is a 1.1 increase in their GDP rate, there is a 1.1 percent increase in 2014, while there is a contraction in the Latin American GDP last year, which was around 0.4. That's a brief overview about the Latin American market. Now let's go back to why we are here, which is the All Star Company. Our company will be. Our company will be having its factory in Brazil. I am very sure a lot of people will be asking, why are we going to do Why are we going and to which year you're going to do this? The first year. The first year. Why did you choose the first year? Why right from the start you decided to manufacture? Uh, the reason why was because Brazil has the largest population. And and to back my guy up, like I said, Brazil has the largest population, which means we're going to have the labels as cheap as it gets. And after having a factory in Brazil, the second country is going to be Mexico. And the reason why is because Mexico has the highest free trade agreement than any other country, which means there will be a lot of low uh, there will be a lot of discount on the tariffs and the trade restrictions that we're gonna get. Thirdly, we'll be in Argentina, and the reason for this is because it's closer to Brazil, which means the, the tra transportation cost on our product is going to be limited, which means our which means our cost of production, our cost of moving from our factory to to Argentina is going to be low compared to other countries. And the first country we are going to is going to be Chile. Chile runs an open economy, which is the reason why we choose them as the fourth. While the fifth is going to be Venezuela, and these are the reasons. They have a low tariff, stable, 
stability of the oil industry and Peru will be the last. On the border, the reason why we, we choose Peru to be our last country and by year 10, we are very sure, we are very confident we will be in Peru. These are the statistical analysis that we come up with. And as you can see, Brazil has the highest point, which is the reason why we are going to Brazil first. And didn't next Brazil's, week, didn't Brazil's poor economy affect your choice? Don't you think it's a lot of risk? And Brazil's poor economy, don't you think it's a lot of risk? Actually, compared to according to the product we are coming up with, it is not going to be a lot of risk. And the fact that it is the only country where we can get them, where we can come up with the limit, with, with, with the lowest cost of production, I think I am very confident it doesn't pose any risk. And also, this is the, the, the last six years sales of toothpaste by country, which Brazil has the highest pool. And the competitive market share of the whole, Amer whole Latin American country. Here is it. Our entry method and plan is here on the board. And as I have said earlier, we are going to focus first and foremost, we will set up a factory in Brazil due to the fact that they have, they have the largest population in Latin America, followed by Mexico, Now, don't do this with your boss. Or worse, the client. And yeah, by the end of year three, we will, will be in Mexico and year four, Argentina, Chile year. By the end of year six, we'll be in Chile. Venezuela by the end of year 8 and year 10 in Peru as analyzed on the board. I hope with my presentation I, I was able to convince each and every uh, one. Yeah. How about risks? Didn't you think about risks? Yeah, according to what we've presented, there are a lot. I, I was unable to pinpoint out okay, the what risk. Would, what would your biggest risk be? Um, the biggest risk we, that we are facing through is through by the culture of Peru. Peru is the population and that is the the the, the poor the poor one. So uh, that's what we want to establish in Brazil. So uh, how much are you intending to charge for your product? Are you going to charge premium price? So we are not going to charge a premium price. Just because we we if we charge a premium price, it, it, it's gonna because we are, we are just started. So for a starter, you can charge a premium price when there are already known products in the market. So we need to start by minimizing our price. And this is the reason why we choose Brazil. At least if we can get the lowest cost of production, I think we can make sure we have a very cheap price. Do we have anybody that has any question? Okay, could I just see the next slide? Do you know what is missing in your presentation? You should have talked a lot and a lot and a lot about your entry methods. Take for example, Venezuela, this, that, whatever, a comparison. 
with all your entry package, right? Okay. Yeah. So, are you going to be considering a direct investment? Are you going to do a joint venture? Oh yeah, we are going to be doing a direct investment. That is why we are setting up our factory. Right. How about the other places? How are you intending to penetrate there? We are going to be exporting. direct exporting. A direct export. Okay. So. Are you confident that you are familiar with the local customs and whatever not? Exactly. That is why, th th these are the reasons why we choose the countries in according to how, the, in accordance to how the, 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 their, their import and export um, Yeah, that, 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 what I'm trying to say is that we, we choose the one that has the lowest entry. For instance, Mexico, we are entering Mexico first and it has the, the highest free trade entrance more than any other country in the world. While Argentina will be the second after Mexico because Argentina is very close to Brazil, which is going to minimize the cost of Logistics, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. I have no questions. Anything else you want to add? All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Finish. Thank you.